Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Stingray surveillance device and how it tracks you and how it operates and how to beat it. Well, some ways to beat it. I'm sure they've come up with something to, uh, if you do beat it, to stop you. But to make them jump through more hoops and stop them from using it, I'm going to share that with you. But first, I'm going to share a word with you from the Bible. And I said I was going to start doing this because I think it's very important to stay positive in all this. And so I'm trying to keep a positive attitude. Okay, this is the parable of the lost sheep. And I'm coming from Luke 15 and going to 1 through 7. Then drew near unto him, I'm talking about Jesus, all the publicans and sinners, which publicans and sinners mean outcasts, basically. So think of publicans and sinners as outcasts, for to hear him. And the Pharisees and the scribe murmured, saying, This man receiveth sinners and eaten with them. So Jesus was eating with outcasts, because the people who didn't think nothing was wrong, or <clears throat> the Pharisees, they were real religious and judgmental, didn't think nothing was wrong. So, you know, he couldn't help them. So he was hanging out with the outcasts and sinners. And I mean, the out, yeah, the outcasts, the publicans and sinners. And he spake this parable to him, saying, What man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, do not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after that which is lost until he find it? And when he hath found it, he layeth it on his shoulders rejoicing. You know, because if a shepherd's in the sheep and he loses one sheep, that, that sheep's more important than the ninety-nine because the ninety-nine's already standing in the group. And they're not having problems running off. They're already secure. And when and when he cometh home, he calleth together his friends and neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which is lost. So they have a celebration if they find a sheep. That's how important back in the day finding a lost sheep was to the shepherds. And that's how important it and Jesus and his angels rejoice in the kingdom of heaven. Whenever a lost sheep, he finds one of us, a lost sheep, they throw a party in heaven. And I'm just letting you know right now, if you're having a problem and want to talk to God and, you know what I'm saying, and repent, just know you're important to him. They're going to throw a party. That's how important it is for one person. And I'm talking about an outcast and a sinner who's living a life of sin. You come to him, and he's going to throw a party and accept you. So he said, I I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth more than over 99 just persons who need no repentance. So remember that as you go along today because Jesus rejoices um, over us admitting we're sinners and coming into his kingdom. They throw parties. And the reason I say that is because he speaks in parables. And I know a lot of y'all might already know this, but for y'all that don't, so he's telling the story of the shepherd celebrating when he finds his lost sheep. So we're the lost sheep, and we go to God asking him to accept us into his kingdom and forgive us our sins. So that's just like him finding a lost sheep. So anyway, that's a little simple thing, but... You know, just think about it when you come to God. Be proud. Oh, man, I have a problem. I'm a sinner. I'm not perfect. And just know that God is celebrating in heaven for you and his angels. And he's cheering you on and having a whole celebration for you. So, anyway, now I'm going to talk about Stingray surveillance. If you're a target, you probably have noticed that your phone, sometimes you might get a text message from somebody and think it's somebody else and or think it's your friend and then you text your friend a response and then your friend like why did you do that i didn't send that stingray operates that way stingray is an ims eye catcher or a fake cell phone tower which will be opened up in an area and trick your phone into thinking that that's the service and it'll attach itself to that service and start communicating with that fake cell phone tower it's a device um i think they're making them a handheld right now too and once it attaches to that 
fake cell phone tower, they can do anything. They can take over your phone. They can see all in going out communications, every picture on your phone. They can even send text to your friends from your number. And they can also text you, put text through your phone and act like, you know what I'm saying? Like I have my friend rest in peace, Lynette Castle. Uh, they used to go in her phone and block me from calling. So I would have to get on Messenger and be like, hey, I just tried to call. I guess I'm blocked again. So go in your phone and unblock me. Yeah, they can do all that stuff. Uh, one time I got uh, a message from another TI and it said, uh, I forgot. It said, hey, David, I need help real bad. Uh, but you don't want to fucking help nobody. Well, I knew that was a lie. So I screenshotted the text and sent it to her. And she's like, no, that wasn't me. And they can do all kinds of stuff through that. Um, all right. So some tricks to stop it. If you're in your house and you have Wi-Fi and your phone is being ready, first turn your phone off. Leave it off for about 30 seconds or a minute. Turn your phone back on. As soon as your phone comes on, put your phone in airplane mode. And um, when you put your phone in airplane mode, turn on Wi-Fi and then turn on Wi-Fi calling if your phone has that. If it don't, I don't want to tell you wrong. I don't know nothing about the text app now, the text now app. But, you know, as long as your phone is in airplane mode, they, a Stingray device will not work. It won't. A Stingray device is a fake cell phone tower, which goes off your phone service searching for service and it connects to that tower or device so your phone will not it will not attach to no stingray while it's in airplane mode so you know and another thing is when you're going public turn your phone to airplane mode until you get ready to use it if you're really afraid somebody stingray in you because they have to attach your phone to that cell phone, that little device they got, and it can't do it if it's searching for service. You know what I'm saying? Because airplane mode turns off your data and your service. Uh, and that's an easier trick than taking the SIM card out. Um, another thing is um, a VPN. But you want a premium VPN, and uh, I would rather keep my phone in airplane mode than use a VPN so but I am gonna do more research on the VPN um, but VPNs do work but if you got a mastermind <laughs> which most of them are that are targeting this uh, yeah uh, I'm sure they can get around that and they can probably get around this too but not with no stingray device it's impossible because a stingray device goes off your service attaching to that phone so if your phone is in airplane mode there's no way that your service can attach to that fake cell phone tower. So that's all for today. Keep y'all's head up. And remember, God's looking for his lost sheep. Have a great day.